Hello and welcome to the fifth video where we're going to start looking at different ways of editing our geometry and make it much more complicated. Alright, so um, in our channel box we have what is called our history, which we haven't talked about yet, um, which is basically this section called inputs. Now, so far there's only one option here, which is basically the, the option that we have when we created our object. So if we click on this, we could actually go back and we get some of the same options that we have as if we were creating the object for the first time. So we could actually increase the lines here. I'll type in 5. And I can see I've added more lines. All right, so um, we're actually going to look into something called extrude. Um, extrude, you can find it under the polygon menu set. In the first video I talked about how Maya has so many different menus that you need to have different menu sets. So if I, by default, it's animation menu set. If I drop this down and go to polygons, I can see options now for working with polygons. So I'm going to go to my edit mesh menu, and I'm going to extrude. Now first, I'm going to select a face. I'm actually going to select, I'm going to select all three of these faces. I'm going to go to edit mesh, and I'm going to go to extrude. Now, what extrude has done, it doesn't look like anything happened, but I just need to move it out. Basically, the edges that are surrounding my selection, they're basically faces are generated there. So if I move this out, now you can see where I used to have edges, now I have faces. All right. So using the blue arrow, it's moving everything according to the direction of the face. Now, obviously this isn't in proportion. All right. So Maya in 2012, they've actually added these cool new features. So if I undo this, all right, instead of moving out with the arrow, I can move it out with what we have here is called the thickness. So the thickness is actually going to push your selection out, but it's going to keep it in proportion no matter the direction it's facing. So we can see everything here is nice and even. All right. Now if I undo this, right below thickness you have offset. What offset is going to do, it's going to scale in everything in proportion. All right? And what divisions would do is just increase the amount of lines that exist in between your, your extrude. All right? So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to, going to pull this out with thickness. All right, these same three options you can find if you look over to the channel box, drop down this menu here. You can see your divisions, you can see your thickness, you can also see your offset. You also see this option for keep faces together. By default, it's on. I'm going to type off. When I type off, you can see all of a sudden now they're all separate. All right, so, and I can still move them in the independent um, directions. So if I right click and go to object mode now, which is the regular mode, now I can see I have a new action in my history. And I can always click this action to jump back into it. All right? So that's a very quick look at the extrude option. Um, next, we're going to look over how to insert our own edge loops.